what a entertaining and exciting college basketball game. Um, I thought the young men on both sides just played with tremendous heart and effort. The environment was tremendous. Um, you know, in terms of college basketball, that's as good as it gets. And you know, although we were fortunate to come away with the win, um, when guys compete like they did tonight, there, there, there are no losers out there. Now, obviously, that game could have gone either way. But, I mean, I just, I stand in awe at the players on both teams and their ability to perform on a stage like that in such competitive conditions. They really uh, have my total respect. You wanted to get the ball to Jermaine on your last several possessions. Well, you know, we, we were, you know, going back and forth between our big three, if you will. You know, we were running things for Jahi, for Jordan and Jermaine. You know, we were trying to mix, depending on the matchups and uh, those three guys. And Jermaine is just incredible. Um, it just seems like the bigger the moment, regardless of what's happened previously, he has an amazing capacity to make a big play, to, to be at his best when the game's on the line. I mean, even Saturday, when he didn't shoot like he typically does, didn't maybe have his best offensive production, he still found a way to make three really big baskets down the home stretch. You know, the, the three when we were down four, I think, um, was huge. You know, he, he did the same thing against California to allow us to get to overtime. So he just has, you know, so tremendous courage down the home stretch of game. That, that was the same set play as, as the one against Cal. And then uh, just you talk about just deciding to keep going to him after that down the stretch, down that last minute. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we tried to run some actions that had multiple options. And even, even the action that he scored when he rejected the, the middle ball screen, um, that wasn't where we started. But Arizona is so good defensively. They're so hard to score against that on so many of the possessions, you're going to have to get beyond your first option. You're going to have to have a certain amount of patience and discipline. If, you, if you're not fortunate to strike early and get something in transition, which is really hard to do if you don't get a rebound, which we didn't do, um, they're just hard to score against. And so rarely are you going to run a quick hitter and just get an easy shot. I mean, that's not typically going to happen against them. Coach, talk about your defense there. You held them to 35% shooting and 25% in the yard. Yeah, I, I think our guys, you know, gave a great effort on defense, and it was really a team defensive effort. Uh, Coach Muss had the scout, and I thought he did a great job preparing our guys, taking a look at our first game against Arizona. Um, and, you know, our defense, you know, allowed us to hang around in the neighborhood um, because it's really hard to, you know, score once again against Arizona. Um, you know, the most incredible thing to me looking at the stat sheet though is you know um, to be out rebounded as badly as we were and to still be in the game and we knew going in that was the first second and third key to winning you know there might not have even been a fourth fifth and sixth we had to we had to rebound and we, it, and we really had a, a struggle doing that uh, Tarzuski is so physical and strong and big really impressed with with his rebounding, and then Gordon, both those guys, go for double-digit rebounds. Um, the other thing that just, once again, I, it, sometimes when something becomes common, you stop paying attention to it. <clears throat> Jordan Machinsky had eight blocks again. I mean, we're not talking two and three and four blocks. We're talking nine against Oregon and eight tonight. That's crazy. And obviously, <laughs> it was the third game that he put the exclamation point on our victory, last possession block shot, right? Marquette, Oregon, Arizona. Um, but, you know, if somebody gets four block shots, you're like, wow. You know, if you average 3.2 block shots, it's like double wow. The numbers he's putting up in that area, you know, we may never see again. I mean, it's truly incredible. And I, you know, that, once again, it's so common we expect it from him, I think it could easily get lost in, in how important that is 
for our basketball team. Coach, what's going through your mind when the fans first stormed the court after Jackie and Sarkin got to you? Were you at all that you might get involved in the technical at that point? I, I think the technical never crossed my mind, nor did the seven tenths being put back on the clock cross my mind until I just start, started to feel uneasy because Arizona wasn't leaving. You know, I, 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 I talked to Sean and, you know, we had, you know, had, had our, our words together and, you know, started to congratulate the other coaches and players. And then after I did that, I was expecting to, you know, to leave the court. And I just all of a sudden was stunned because I'm like, why is nobody leaving? <laughs> I didn't know what was going on until it was explained to me. And then, to your to your point, my first concern was, did did somebody run out on the court and did they call a technical? And then once that fear was alleviated, the explanation was when he scored, there were still seven tenths, tenths of a second left and they didn't inbound, so we had to play that off. And sure enough, Nick Johnson shot almost went in. Will you be telling them next time, dribble out the clock, or are you thrilled to going for points? Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously, in retrospect, it would have been better to dribble out the clock. Um, you know, but, that, but to think of that in that moment would, would, would really be improbable. I, I wouldn't have thought of it. You know, I wouldn't expect him to. Anything else?